Mpenzi mtazamaji kama ndio kwanza nafungua channel yako ya TV TV tafadhali subscribe ili uwe mwanzo kupata video zetu mbali mbali za ndani na nje ya nchi. Share video hii bila kusahau kudondosha komenti yako kwani ni muhimu sana. Mpenzi mtazamaji kama ndio kwanza nafungua channel yako ya TV TV tafadhali subscribe ili uwe mwanzo kupata video zetu mbali mbali za ndani na nje ya nchi. Share video hii bila kusahau kudondosha komenti yako kwani ni muhimu sana. As we come together in this forum I encourage all delegates to engage in an open and constructive dialogue, sharing successes, challenges, and lessons learned. By leveraging your collective knowledge and expertise, you will amplify the impact of national and global efforts and accelerate progress towards our shared goals of ensuring sustainable gender responsive climate financing. And I hope that the deliberations of the forum and standing committee on finance shall help to ensure fulfillment of a pledge by developed countries of $100 billion annually by 2025 as part of their commitment to facilitate the implementation of the Paris Agreement. I also call for a predictable, accessible, sustainable, and balanced financing between mitigation and adaptation, taking into consideration that developing countries are more in need of adaptation financing so as to ensure gender responsible climate financing. Climate change and gender inequality are complex challenges that are interconnected. And in our experience, meaningful gender responsive climate actions demand a holistic approach that aims to overcome silos and gaps that impede design, implementation, and monitoring. In this context, the government of Tanzania has continued to promote mainstreaming of gender and climate change into policies, programs, and strategies at all levels. And the key policy elements being promoted include gender equality in access to economic and financial opportunities for women and men, creating an enabling environment for women to fully participate in all levels of leadership and decision making, gender equality in access to quality education and training, use of technology in the empowerment of women, use of clean cooking energy in urban and rural areas, having systems for collection, management and use of gender statistics, and gender responsive environmental management the vision of such efforts is to ensure that both women and men can, access, can have access to and participate in, as well as contribute and hence benefit from climate change initiatives and efforts. Tanzania has made clean cooking to be a national agenda by championing and coordinating the Africa Women Clean Cooking Support Program. Through the, this program, our president, Dr. Samia Sulu Hassan, is now the champion of clean cooking across the continent. The program aims to provide clean cooking technologies across Africa and relieve our women and girls the burden of using charcoal and firewood for cooking. And in collaboration with our development partners, a total of $2.2 billion was mobilized at the Clean Cooking Energy Conference in Paris in May this year. This is an encouraging development that will help in addressing environmental, health, and socioeconomic challenges associated with the use of traditional cooking energy. And our target is to ensure that by 2034, 80% of all Tanzania have clean cooking solutions from the current 
7%. Since we need a just transition that is gender responsive, we propose that clean cooking should be one of the areas of focus at COP29 in Baku. <laughs> TV na kupatia video mbali mbali kutoka ndani na nje ya nchi. Tafadhali endelea kutufuatilia kupitia channel yetu ya Tip TV, YouTube, Facebook, Twitter na Instagram. Bila kusahau kudondosha komenti yako kwani ni muhimu sana. Tip TV tupo kijamii zaidi.